because it will get to that point. Oh, yeah. Uh, where is the stage? Right here. Did you ban Dreamland again? I did. I banned Dreamland and he banned um, Yoshi's and Dr. Mario. <coughs> Which I was oh, bummed about because I actually wanted to play. Oh, yeah. That, I nice forgot. Turnaround. That move's really good. <laughs> yeah, Conqueror's downer is like hugely disjointed. A uh, little bit hard to follow up on, but I mean, really, it's just like any other drill. Once you get used to it, you can definitely make use of it. Yeah, this is the first Conqueror we're seeing in the tournament, so that's kind of cool. Obviously, the new character, along with Wolf. Looks like Beef knows his stuff, too. He got that uh, neutral B edge crab. Which is, I think, not super well known yet. Probably like people who play Conquer know about it by now, but I feel like that's like a that's like a minute five thing you figure out trying to like neutral B from the ledge, but maybe it was just me. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, it definitely wasn't minute five for me. Oh, uh, that was like maybe maybe it just happened to be like one of the first things I tried doing, and I was like, wait a second, this is instant. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't think so. But it is, I mean, it's a lot of Yoshi's egg. So, it, it's not like unheard of or something that is like totally unintuitive. But I think it shows that he has experience with the character. We've seen quite a few grenades from him as well. Uh, it's kind of interesting to me. Watching different conquerors play, you see like really varying degrees of grenade use. Some some conquer players like don't use it at all. Uh, it is kind of hard to know how to use correctly because no. there's just so many different things you can do with it. That was definitely not the time to use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> saved you with it. I feel like he knew. I don't know. I think he wanted to make it explode on you probably, but who knows with beef. Oh. oh. I did not update the bracket command. <laughs> oh, it's from the random knockback one. It's for the up tilt there. I thought he might just down smash. And the combo really. Oh no! Nice threatening with the grenade. He definitely looks pretty comfortable using that. I think that's something a lot of people like about Conquer is just how much you can do with the grenade. You can really spend a lot of time like workshopping that. Yeah, and that's all the... it's it's a really hard. I think it's a really hard thing for like a new Conquer player to start using. Yeah, but there's just like so many little setups, uh, potential things you can do with it. Oh. That's such a fast forward smash. It's really force Conquer forward smash is really good. Yeah, I mean it's pretty weak. Like if you compare it to another equally fast move like Kirby forward smash, it's kind of like night and day. But it like it covers a good space like over his head, comes out really quick. It's definitely a, a great option for like stuffing out approaches. Lucas. All right. Oh, he's going Lucas. Okay. Dude. Now Another I don't... character that you don't see a lot of in uh, Remix Brackets. Yeah, for sure. Play. Who should I play, Frey? Uh, I don't know. It's up to you, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you could go Kirby. That would be pretty funny. Should I do it? <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not gonna weigh in on this. All right, guys. Frey said it. This is all because of Frey. Right. <laughs> so I guess Dark Horse does want to make top eight after all. Oh, no. I mean, we want to make it a three game set, right? <laughs> Where's freaking Yoshi? And I thought they would win. What a dope. What a moron. It's not on this page. Not on this page. Not on this page. 
Well, yes, it is. Bottom right. I was like, it should be on this page. I spoke too soon. Interesting move choice from Beef. Beef is a player who, with his mains, he's really good at uh, pressuring. Like as Pika, he's really good at suffocating the opponent, getting lots of moves out, and picking the right timings and spacings for them to keep that pressure on. And that's something that Lucas lends himself well to. He's a good sort of character to overwhelm you with lots of hits coming really fast. Oh, why'd you go that way? Uh, but obviously Kirby, kind of the... Uh, one of the best characters at stopping that sort of nonsense <laughs> with his defensive tools. Uh, I believe oh, the that is forward air. It's movement on hazards off for all. Yeah, 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 for all stages. But like most of them don't have hazards to worry about, so we just haven't. Yeah. We haven't messed with the hazard toggle yet. Because we haven't played on Dreamland. <laughs> and what else has a hazard? Well, any of the, like, the classic Dreamland. Nice little combo from Beef. He looks like he's fairly comfortable with Lucas. Like, maybe this is a character he uses a bit. Yeah, I figured he used the character. Oh, come on, man! Pretty dangerous to just go for that raw dash attack in your combo. Yeah. <laughs> Nest recovery is always going to be Nest recovery. I think you can win, but it's certainly very difficult. No! See, oh, he went for a crazy reverse backer there. I think he could have just killed you with like a Ford air because it's Yoshi's, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. We're not that far away. All right, what character should I go this time? I mean, I think that's up to you. Uh, let's see, Beef. What what stages should I ban? And there goes the battle. Well, he has to pick a stage first, right? And then I pick a character. Yeah. Go Wolf, uh, dude. I don't play Wolf at all. Oh, woo. Your choices are your choices are Falcon, DK. Bowser, Ganon, Young Link, Dark Samus. Piano? Piano. <laughs> DK? Go figure, Annex wants DK. Oh, we're going Smashville. We're going Smashville. All right, let's... Oh, DK's great on Smashville. If you get the Ford throw cheese, go JDK and try to cheese him with the Ford throw. JDK? Yeah, because you could do four. I know, but I'm totally gonna screw throw. up. I'm gonna screw up the recovery. <laughs> no, it's that easy. little that little bit of height, I lose. I'm not ready for it. I'm not. I'm not ready for it. If you get a grab on the outside edge of the plot, you can just two hit kill him with the forward throw up me. Yeah, it's pretty good. I just had it. There you go. I'm, I'm like pretty sure, like I think the blast zone has to be close enough on this stage that Fort Robbie would kill from that platform. I don't even know actually if Beef is like a big masher under normal circumstances. Yeah, I don't know either. But it doesn't hurt to have those six extra inputs. That he needs to do. DK Conquer, not sure I've ever even seen this matchup played before. <laughs> Gotta hang out in High Maze Stream, you'll see every matchup. They're sort of distant relatives with their up bees. And I guess both members of the Animal Kingdom as well. I would say they're also rel relatives because Diddy Kong Racing, but you know. Well, Donkey Kong is not in that. It's <laughs> best. What? 
going for some crazy stuff with the grenade right now. Yeah, they are in rare games, which Diddy Kong Racing is one of, I guess. But there is a lot of Donkey Kong stuff in that game, obviously. Oh no! Don't do it! Up here to back here is a pretty uh, staple bread and butter with Conker, I'd say. It's one of the like more intuitive combos he does. Come here. Beef looking a little unsure of how to punish that DK up B. Interesting recovery though, he uses the grenade to kind of cover himself on the ground and then just flies on past it. Definitely makes it difficult to... Uh, oh, that was supposed to be down air. Great up tilt to reverse back air. I didn't even know you could do reverse back air as Funger. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty just breaking him out of the DK combo, but what a punch. It looks like the like the nut went between your legs or something. <laughs> Sorry, that, that audio is getting clipped for sure. <laughs> oh man, this isn't looking great for Punker. Oh, I thought I would hit both of us. No. No. Oh, he missed the jump on the grenade. <laughs> Just kind of waits for it to stop. He's going for some crazy grenade setups. Oh man. I'm surprised he's not using the slingshot more honestly, because I I think maybe one of the difficult parts about using slingshot is that the projectile is just really small. But DK is a pretty big target. And we might see a grenade recovery there. Good up tilt. Oh, he went for tilt. a weak neutral there. Maybe going for a Nair into back air there, but I think he could have just killed you with a back air. I think so too. I thought that's what was coming. Yeah, definitely. He's just having a hard time finding this kill confirmed. Wow! <laughs> Crazy. I told you that blast zone is really close. Especially if you're like on that moving plot. Oh, grenade into bat. Yeah, that's not too hard. Give it to me. Guard. Standard way to edgeguard conquer? Wait. Yeah, or just like hit him from uh, below and from the side, because he's only really covered from on top. Oh, you could have done the fourth rugby there. <laughs> Tries to spike the grenade into conquer though. That would have been something. Wow, I just couldn't get that. Yeah, up smash is pretty good on shield. I went for it. Nice back air. It's gonna be hard to make it back for him. He doesn't really do much to stop you though. Oh, good neutral V though, then not reaching just below the ledge. This is a really close match. DK down smash. Conker's got his work cut out for him. I guess he got his jump back from something. <laughs> oh! The crazy fourth throw kill stage spike. Oh, that was for you, Frey. JDK special. We can't match out of that one.